Cheer up, my little Sean. <laughs> Trust me, it's not as bad as you think. Other farms in the area is just straight down exploit your ass. <laughs> Look at these baby soft hands. Trimming sucks. At least I didn't cut myself again today. Oh, you'll get scars, but you'll get it. Part of the fun. It ain't sexier. Later, Big Joe. Smile, asshole. So, did you have a good day at work, honey? I did. Love the Jerry Springer moment, when Hannah and Cass started picking on each other. <laughs> yeah. They love to start shit with each other. Then get high. Short-term memory loss. How was your day? Did you have fun outside? <laughs> nope. Picked up branches and shit. Got covered in mud. Would not recommend. Still sounds better than sitting on your ass all day. I feel you, Sean. As always. That's why you're such a good fit for the family. You totally hooked us up. A job, cash, friends, safety. Sean, everybody's cool with you two. <laughs> Daniel is your secret weapon. I don't know. He's way too young for this bullshit. You gotta be zen about this. The more you try and control him, the less you have. It's deep, huh? I swear, he acts just like me. <laughs> That's how I know he's smart. He's also got a kick-ass hermano. <laughs> My brothers are like that. Maybe, but he doesn't listen to me anymore. I, don't worry, you're in a, a new group. He's trying to fit in on his own. Bet you're doing it too. Mm-hmm, trying to be your own person, not just Daniel's big brother. Sure, but I try to be both, you know? You're a good guy, Sean Diaz. You just need to trust yourself more. I know losing your family is tough, but the world is yours to create a new one. You know what I mean? Yeah, I was pretty sheltered growing up, but now I'm starting to totally love seeing the world. <laughs> well, you know, going to Mexico is the ultimate road trip. Not to Daniel. He doesn't even want to go. At all. Instead, he wants to go to Arizona to see his... mom. Fuck that. It can be tough, growing up, not knowing your folk. He needs closure. That's all. Give him time. He'll follow you anywhere. Okay. Therapy's over. Oh, yeah. I gotta move those water tanks for the shower and stuff. It's cool you're doing your part, huh? Finally. Glad I can help. <laughs> Time to take the pen, dude. I like how Cassidy is in her own world when she's playing music. Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. Bo! <laughs> Man, you are so focused when you draw. That's cute. Yeah, um... Thanks? <laughs> that may be the judge. Whoa, whoa, give it back, please. Cassidy, do not even look. Whoa, down boy. Really, Sean? I didn't mean to freak. 
Stop this tortured artist shit. Share it. Come on. Fuck. You're good. Wow. <laughs> I look happy. Like, I belong here. <laughs> I love how you see me, Sean. I think I look cooler as a sketch. Really? You think it's okay? <laughs> no, I'm just being nice. If it was bad, you would know. I don't lie. Well, I could never draw like that. What's your secret? Practice. I just keep trying to get better. I would draw no matter what. That's what keeps me going. Huh. Yeah, same here. With my music. This place is great for inspiration. These redwoods, the fog, the ocean. It smells like hope and freedom. Except for the working part, I guess. Yeah, but we don't always have to suck up to fuckers like Meryl. Most of the year, it's just us. The road and us. Yeah, but life isn't easy going from place to place. I don't know how you do it. I mean, I do because we did, but it's still hard. <sighs> Hope we can just get to Mexico. Oh, you will. You guys came a long way already. You're tougher than you think. I mean, the trick in this country is just to survive. I guess. I do like traveling around, but I want a base. Will you ever go back to Texas? No fucking way. My daddy was a meth head who beat the shit out of my boyfriend. Just because he wasn't wet. Yep. Then my big brother told me he would shoot me. If I dated, dated that, well, you know, my mom didn't say squat, as usual. Thanks, mom. So, fuck them all. This is my family now. Damn, I'm sorry, Cassidy. <laughs> nah, don't be. I feel sorry for them. So, tell me. What do you miss about your old life? <laughs> well... Apart from my dad, I'd say Lila. Definitely. She was like my best friend. I miss our talks. I'm sure she's very special. Even when I had a shitty day, she would always make me laugh. Always. Feels like years since we talked. Probably never again. But things change, right? Yep, so keep moving forward. You have a good heart, Sean. I think you could use some alone time. See you later. <laughs> what up? Uh, the usual. Carving some wood. I learned wood carving with an Inuit native back when I lived in Alaska. It's an antique technique. Helps me vent out and focus. Yeah, I just let my hands sculpt the wood and sometimes I have good surprises. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. It's actually a cool cowboy thing I've been trying to do for a while, but I, I suck at this. It's just fun to relax. Finn is too punk rock to be a farmer. Hey. Hola. ¿Qué está, señor? <laughs> Bien, ¿y tú? ¿Estás ensayando para la voz? Uh, no comprendo. <laughs> Don't <laughs> laugh. Still learning, professor. <laughs> At least you're trying. 
Hey, am I bugging you? <laughs> Never. But let me finish this new song before I forget it. Don't let me get in the way. Talk later. <laughs> Damn, Sean. Can you try and be less shy sometimes? So, Hannah, how long ago did you come here to Humboldt for work? Nine years. I left Santa Fe because it was hell. No money, nobody. Hitched north, worked on farms, learned how to trim. I had to bail after some tweaker tried to attack me up in Arcata. What? That is awful, Hannah. I almost killed that fuck, but I came back to Humboldt because of Finn. I had this sweet deal with Meryl. It is nicer here than other places we saw. Too many junkies and homeless. They go together sometimes. No home, get high. What the fuck else are you gonna do on the street? Clean it up? We see so much trash in the forest around here. California is very green, but starting to look like shit. Not everybody has time to fucking recycle or compost their shit, especially when you live off the grid. We all should try. It's everybody's planet too. Sweden is not perfect, but we try to be more eco-conscious. We only have one planet. Not for long. It's true. We gotta do something. That's what we're saying. Blah, fucking blah. Taurus talking shit again. Like you guys have it so hard. We did not say that we did. Tell me again how many hours you spent on a plane during your awesome trip around the world. And then you come crying about hobos spreading garbage in the forest. Good point. Now you're here sponging off us trash on an illegal pot farm with a tourist visa lecturing us. Funny, right? Hannah, I'm sorry. We were not trying to lecture you. We are grateful we found that job and that you let us stay in the camp with you guys. I know. We're cool. Do you hate us now? You're funny. Don't worry. You'd know if I hated you. All I care about is my family right here. These three gutter punks. The rest, none of my business. Not used to peeling potatoes, huh? A lot of work. I know how to cook. Just not everything yet. Yeah, but you hate it. You want a pizza, watch TV. I can tell. Like those kids who come through here all psyched and they have to bust ass and they're gone. I know I have a lot to learn. I mean, you've been doing this for years, right? Pretty much, 10 years or so. I know, I know. We all got scars of our own. I just fucking hate phonies. Too many here. Crusty backpack doesn't make you one of us. Well, what do I gotta do to pass initiation? Don't be a pussy. Stand up for us. You can't be part of our family unless you open up. This is a family too, not a pit stop. Out in the wild, sharing is caring. I hear you, but my brother comes first. Always. That's good. Shows you're not a selfish prick. That way too many. You don't have to tell me, but how did you end up on the road? My community was a mess. Too much wasted talent. My mom, she was an artist and a drunk. Tried to get her into rehab countless times. Worked my ass off to buy her paint and stuff. Until I realized she was just returning everything to Z-Mart to get the cash back to buy her booze. I just knew I had to get the fuck out before that curse would get me too. I'm glad you're at peace now. So, how did you hook up with the others? Met Finn at some squat when he got out of jail. Young punk, but old soul. We just clicked. Then we ran into Cassidy a year ago, pissed at everything. Hurt, unable to commit to anything, except us. Then Pennywise found us, here in Humboldt, tripping about his friend Jinx. But you know, he just fit in. Now we're all pretty fucking tight. Hell yeah, you are. It's awesome. So, are you satisfied? With your life now? 
I'm grateful for what I have, yeah. Not everything is perfect, but we got balance, prospects. That's way more than I had before. Thanks for taking the time to talk, Hannah. That's cool. Yeah. Anyway, didn't mean to grill you, Sean. It was a long day. Whoa. Hannah's tough to figure out. Don't fuck with her. Almost done. I actually never helped him with the dishes back in Seattle. But everything's different now. Need two more hands, Dishmaster? Uh, yeah. That'd be cool. I'm on it. So boring. <laughs> yeah. I don't miss doing the dishes. Then why are we doing it? That's it. Finally. Need a hand with your own chores? That'd be awesome. I need help moving the water tanks to the shower and kitchen. Okay. I'll wait for you near the water tank. So we can take Those on Those guys day. sure know how to live outdoors. They've taught me so much already. Man, I would have killed for something like this back in that freezing house in Oregon. Yes, I know. Go fill the water tanks. Oh, I think I will miss it. I have one job. Same. But we can't resist the wanderlust. Plus, Portland's waiting for us. <sighs> I think I'll take a nap. Me too. I'm exhausted after today. <sighs> one step Let's get these time, over to the kitchen Sean. and shower. Trimming is hard. How do these guys keep coming back? Let's carry that one to the shower. Penny's all over the place. He'll go anywhere. These guys know how to make a bong out of pretty much anything. And now I do too. Aw, they look so cute here. I love how they're like a real family. Wonder if they'd give me a cool nickname if I stayed here. Nice to have a dog around again. Still miss room. Shit. Guess Penny's looking for somebody. That sucks.
That's some deep shit. Hello, Dolly. You're old. Hmm. Wonder who's her mom. And who's the other woman? So cool he carries this around. Wish I could see the pictures he took of us. Must be tough to be so far away from his sister. Weird. Where did he get that from? Okay. Time to help Daniel do some power training. He's waiting at the lake. Easy money, they said. Yeah, right. Wonder what they all say about me. Hmm. <laughs> Sweet. But can you do it without your power? Oh, yeah. I can do better with my own skills now. Next level. Onward. Ready to rumble? I am so ready. Let's start with our team Howl. Oh. T.S. Lobos. still sound okay. Now, let's do this. Come on. Hold up. Too many people over there. Let's hit the other side. The other side of that log looked secluded enough to be out of sight. The other side of that log looked secluded enough. Sight. The other side of that log looked secluded enough. Sight. Hey, can you move that tree trunk? Duh. doing hey <laughs> your face come on I wasn't gonna drop it on you very funny man okay let's have some fun we're out of sight here should be safe Bet it's different here in the summer. Penny said it gets crazy crowded. People everywhere. Ew. These need a little harvest. Hmm. Let's try this. I 
want you to focus on these ugly mushrooms and blow them apart. Dude, it's toast. I'm waiting. Or maybe you... What the? <laughs> I told you I rule. Uh, think you can lift all those? I know I can. Whoa, Daniel, that's a, uh, that's amazing. Come on, find something else. Pick a rock, any rock. Okay, and? Let's test your aiming system. Target in sight. Locked and loaded. Awesome! Okay, you're good. Now, let's spice things up a bit. Bring it on. Holy shit! That was not a fair fight. That's right. What's next? That was some next level shit, Daniel. Thanks. I've been... Training on my own sometimes. I know I haven't been around a lot lately. You didn't tell anyone, did you? No way. Why would I? Not even Finn? No. Jeez. You don't even trust me. Whatever. You better chill the fuck out, Daniel. I mean it. Why are you making a drama out of everything I say? Am I a bad big brother? Because I hang out with other people? You're always with them! And with Cassidy, too. Don't be so jealous. She's cool. She's weird. Lila was way better. You don't know her. I mean, never mind. That's it. Enough. You're being a brat. Can't say anything without you having a shit fit. We're family. We still have a long way to go. And we have to go together. Right? I know it sucks. But you have to grow up now. Stop it! Stop it, Daniel! No!
are serious munchies. Any chips left? Dude, you scarfed the whole fucking bag. Have another hit. Yeah, yeah. I packed a fat bone. You're getting tired, babe. You shouldn't me. Had a long death to lick ducks. I took both roads everywhere. Whoa. They went. You see that shit? It's a fucking UFO. I'm oh, serious, man. Look. They're finally coming to take you back. Tripped on a few words, but y'all are baked, so I'm good. <laughs> good job, sis. So beautiful. Damn. Why you ain't rich and famous? <laughs> I mean, you can hook us up. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. I take ass, cash, or grass. <clears throat> hint, hint. John, take a puff and pass it to your friend. Nah, I'm... I'm good. Daniel! No fucking way. Jeez! <laughs> I was just joking. Ha ha. You better be. That is all for us. We must sleep. Ah, there go the party animals. What is it? Like, ten o'clock? No worry, Finn. We'll party like rock stars tomorrow for our last night. Come on, one more round. Go now. Sleep tight. Jeez, I swear every time you play that song, Cass, I see my poor black flag. Oh, man. I'm sorry. Who's black flag? It was my dog back in Colorado until last year. Yeah, something like that. A year ago, we were hopping a train, just me, Finn, and Cass. And Black Flag, we got caught stealing some shit in some random town. Motherfuckers called the cops on us. I had to run for it. We saw that train from afar and went straight at it. Cops were right behind us. We barely made it. But nobody's able to get Black Flag. Jesus. Yeah, I see him chasing after the train, yapping at me. But I left him there. That's it. End of story. I hope the cops picked him up. Got him a better home. I think about that damn dog every day. Here's to Black Flag. Man, I miss Mushroom. That was our rescue dog. She didn't make it with us. Oh, sweetie. Jeez, sorry I ruined the mood. Don't worry, hands. We can do worse. Let's hear everybody's worst memory, fair and square. Are you serious? Why the fuck not? We all need to say our piece once in a while. Who's up? Penny? Cool. Mm. Bust out the violin. Check this out. Say hello to my little friend, Jinx. Met him dumpster diving in New Mexico. It was cool. The boy had issues. Mood swings, delirious, self-harm, fun shit like that. He seemed to get better with me. I think I loved him. He gave me this coin. Said he never gave us trust in no one before. We used to come here every now and then, hook up on cash, but he disappeared. A few miles north from here, in a pot farm just like this one. He went out one night, high as fuck, and zoomed. That was the last time I saw him. Now I gotta hold on to this fucking penny just in case. Is that how you got your name? Yep. Whoa. 
You must mean a lot to you. That sucks, brother. Shit like that happens around here. Plus, the guy needed medication. Sure did. I just hope he's okay. Maybe I'll run into his crazy ass someday. Who knows? It's a small world. I hand him back the trust that he gave me. All right. Bad vibes indeed. Can we do worse? Uh, Jake? Please? Well, just don't laugh. I guess my worst memory is when I lost my faith. Yeah, you mentioned it. What happened? I used to be a sheep. A true mm. believer. Mm. I was raised in Haven Point, Nevada. Small community. We have this amazing reverend. People line up to listen to her. She's intense. But for some reason, things happened to me and I started doubting myself. It kind of escalated. People said I was trouble. <coughs> Couldn't get the answers I was looking for. Even from my own folks. I know the feeling. I felt so lost. Wasn't sure what to believe anymore. So I left. I just needed to be alone for a while, you know? Find the truth by myself. I'm still looking for it. Jacob, my son. Maybe we are the truth you were looking for. I'm glad I found you guys. I don't know if I'll ever go back there. Not until I get a signal from God, at least. I hope you can. Bet your family misses you a lot. I miss them too. Just not the other stuff. You probably did the right thing. I hope you find the space and answers you need. Thank you, Sean. What about you, Cassidy? Your turn. Uh, uh-uh. Pass. I already sang a song. <laughs> Figures. What about you, Sean? You obviously don't have to talk about that shit show back in Seattle. But if you have something else... <laughs> Whoa. No. No way, man. I'm too wasted. How about me? You're the man I was waiting for. It's not only one bad memory, but they're all about my friends. I feel like I've let everyone down. Like Noah and Lila from Seattle. And there's our dog, Mushroom, who was killed by a puma. So we had to bury her. Then I lost Chris because we had to run away again. I know he's not my friend anymore because I lied to him. But more than anything, I miss my best friend, my dad. Jesus, little man. That's hard. I'm so sorry, Daniel. I told you I'd win. You didn't let anybody down. Life did. Yeah, life is a bitch. We can only go with the flow, like a river. Yeah, that's why I'm not dragging around any bad memories. Come on. Bull fucking Oh, shit, you started this man. shit, bitch. Don't punk out now. Uh -huh. yeah, listen, smart asses. I'm just saying you can't change the past. So you just got to focus on what's next. Memories are just lessons for the future. The future, huh? What's your big plan, Prophet? Want to know what my plan is? Picture this. A kick-ass beach house in Costa Rica. Sunshine, feet in the sand, sweet ocean view. We'd be one big, fucked up, happy, dysfunctional family. We just chill and, and sing and Drink cocktails out of coconuts. Only thing we need is a little cash along the way. And then, boom. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. 
That's your dream? Beach house and coconuts? <laughs> oh, uh, too boring for you? This sounds like my folks' retirement plan to Florida. I don't need anything else than what we already have. Sure, we're working our asses right now, but we can beat it if we want. I'm not gonna settle down. No way. And that's how shit starts, you know? When you start having things of your own, things you ought to defend, property, land, family. What do you think you're missing out on now? Um, coconut cocktails? Well, agree to disagree, fucker. Man, I'm too high for your shit. It's time to crash. And Penny goes down. Peace out, brother. Night, night. Looks like we still have some booze left. Who's in? <laughs> oh, twist my arm. A teeny tiny drink. And we need to talk about Sean's hippie hair. Boy needs a real haircut. Oh, hell yes he does. <laughs> now it's your turn to get a trim. Karma. I'll call it a day, too. Night, everyone. Hey. I'm wiped out. Are you ready for bed yet? No, man. Uh, I'm gonna hang for a bit. You want me to walk back alone? Oh. So now you're a kid again? <sighs> Have no fear. Finn is here. I'll walk you, little man. Sleep tight, Daniel. <laughs> sweet dreams, sweetie. Now, you belong to us, Diaz. So, let's do something about that shaggy hair. Yeah, let's not. I like my shag. Sean, maybe you haven't noticed, but we have standards here. Fine. Whatever. Cut me up. Atta boy. That's what I like to hear. I don't want to end up with a mullet. Or worse. Tell that to your stylist. Don't look at me, boy. I only cut weed. Um, that means... Why, hello, laddie! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to McNam Hair Salon. Check, please. Yeah? <laughs> uh, step right up! Uh, hey, hey. No stress. You're talking to a pro. Just relax. Enjoy the buzz. Alright, now let's see. Hey! Hands off now. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Down, Finn! Why? Hey, what are you doing? Stop! I said don't worry, Cassidy. Stop <laughs> fooling around. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Stand fucking straight. Nice. Looking good, Slick. Seriously. Aye, we don't fuck around at McNam Hair Salon. Mmm. <laughs> bit more here. Yes, that's gone. Almost done. Voila. What's the verdict? Hot. <laughs> nice. Okay. Can I see now? Whoa. There goes my job at Wall Street. I'm as ugly as you are. Love it. My pleasure. Really. Careful, Sean. People are gonna think you're one of us. <laughs> don't think so, Cass. <laughs> Looks don't mean nothing. Lucky for you. Here, you deserve it. I don't know. I'm already kinda trashed. Plus, I might be hosting tonight. Uh, Finn? I don't know. Maybe. Well... Just in case. Can y'all let me get some rest tonight? <laughs> Sean won't be able to sleep either. I'm... cool. So, how long have you two been, um, together? If you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> What's so funny? You? That look on your face? Hilarious. 
Yeah. Uh, Hans and I aren't together, sweetheart. We're just fuck buddies. Oh. Oh. We're pretty open right. here. Duh. Fuck who you want to fuck. The end. Or don't. Nobody has to do anything if they're not into it. Yeah. We're not into the whole fucked up system. We make our own rules. You feel us, Sean? Or do we sound like depraved punks to you? No, oh, uh, I totally hear you. I never thought about all this until I met this crazy cool guy on the road. People should do what they want. As long as they don't bother anybody. That's it, laddie. Now you know why we're out here. We can be our true selves. Nobody's telling me whose dick to suck. That's fucking freedom. Right. Does it mean you're into guys and all? Uh, that depends on the position. <laughs> but, yeah, sure. Take a number, Sean. So, what about you? I'm just more into girls. Like Jen. Back in Seattle. She was so hot, man. Uh, so long. Oh, shit. You had a Jen? Oh, there goes my chance. Sorry, bro. But you never stood a chance. Oh, s stop ruining everything. Okay, lovebirds. That's it for me. A lot of work tomorrow. Plus, it's payday. Fuck. I could talk all night, but yeah. Don't want Daniel to start whining. Gracias por todo. See ya, my dudes. You gonna swing by, Finn? Of course, sweetie. I'm always swinging. Cool. Buenas noches, Sean. Loving on the hair. Meow.
Okay. This is boring. So, everybody, tell me how you're gonna blow your next payday. The usual. Save it till the next one. <laughs> well, ain't we all stingy now? How about a keg offering for your family, or... Or some hookers, or cocaine? Oh, please. There's a child here. Mm, I think he's heard worse. Besides, he's our mascot now. Oh, I want to buy a bacon burger and a pepperoni pizza. Then, a box of Choco Chris and, and a red slushie. Oh, hell yes. S screw the hookers. Bring on the Choco Chris. <laughs> Come on, Sean. You gotta treat yourself after all this hard work. Seriously, we have to save every dime, so... Hookers will wait. <laughs> Trust me, they will. So that's it, huh? You bust your ass all week for nothing? Some of us just got simple needs, princess. Yeah, like your beach house in Costa Rica? Okay, let's get this over with. Finn, Cassidy, Sean, and, uh, you. Jake. Jake, Jacob. Daniel, dude, do you have to do this every week? Adults only. Oh, whatever. I work too. Yes, I know, but we have to keep a low profile. Got it? For the millionth time. Just wait here for a few minutes, and don't do anything. Nothing. I won't. I swear. Okay, we'll be right back. Ugh. For once, you're all on time. Let's see who wins that farm lotto. Jacob, right? I thought you wouldn't last a day, but you cleaned up. You're all right. Thank you. Thanks. Cassidy, your trims were pretty weak. And Big Joe told me you've been whining a lot. <sighs> Bet he did. Look, you can bitch all you want as long as you work. Otherwise, you're just taking up space. So get it together. I know, Meryl. Now for Sean. Very nice trims. Good work, kid. Finn, you saved the pots in the greenhouse. And our asses. That's why you keep coming back. You know it, boss. Uh, how about a raise? <clears throat> yeah. Sorry. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for. Get in here, you little asshole! What the fuck? Don't touch me, jerk! Don't move! Now explain! That sneaky fucker! He was snooping around your living room! No, I wasn't! I was just bored, so I came in! Uh, shut up, Daniel! Seriously! Let Shh. him go! I told you. Come on, Meryl! He's a kid, not a thief! You wanna frisk him? <sighs> Look at him! He's just following his big brother! Your brother needs a lesson. You all need a lesson. So first off, no payday. Uh, oh, fuck that. Boss, no way. Uh, don't do that to us. We earned that money. Sean, you and your brother are, are fired. What? And don't come back or Big Joe will take care of your ass. Please, Meryl. That's Bullshit, man! Man, I, I know you're pissed, but Sean is a good worker. Never brought you any losers, right? Sir... Quiet! Shut. The. Fuck. Up. Sean, I warned you. One too many times. We tried your way, now it's my turn. Okay, Joseph. Just teach him a lesson. Let me go! 
Come on, man. Big Joe, what are you gonna do? He's just a little fucking kid! This ain't your business. Think I like it. It's mine. <gasps> Ow! What? <clears throat> okay. Okay, who did that? Who did that? Uh, I did. My fault. Uh, look!